Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 100 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. I am so glad that this week is over. What a week. Yeah. I feel like there was no more room to pack anything in. Yeah. We're looking for a car. Yeah. Well, we found one car. Yes. We have a national health scare yeah. that we're dealing with. Trying to figure out open church, closed church, <laughs> right? CPR training yeah. on Saturday. Like, just, we can't handle anymore. Yeah. We're done. All of my lacrosse games have been canceled for like the next two weeks. And so now it's kind of like, oh, what do we do? Except for we will be able to do some filming finally for two crazy ketos because it's been so busy but haven't been able to do that it's the silver lining in the whole thing it's definitely the silver lining but it's been such a hectic week first we finally found rachel a car yay then we had to go find one for caleb Mm -hmm. and this has been even worse than finding rachel a car because his budget is so low right like the ceiling of that college budget is five thousand dollars right because you got to leave room for gas money and insurance yeah right it's not like you can just pay everything and then have no money in reserves yeah and we're not debt people so it's like you buy what you can afford and that's it that's right so a couple of years ago when we were looking for our first son to have a car five thousand dollars would get you something right now, not so much. Well, we talked about it even on like our live the other night that, yeah, for John Paul, his first car was like $3,800 and it was a convertible Decent. Sebring with only like 60,000, 50,000 miles on it. His second car was a Chrysler 300 with 40,000 miles. That was $4,000. Now, $4,000 gets you like a 2004 Honda with 150,000 miles on it. And I think scarier than the cars that are out there are the people that are selling them. Yes. So we went, Rachel and I had one day since all my games got canceled. We decided, hey, let's have a date day on Thursday. We went to look at one car. Which, what a different date. Which turned into the entire day, drove over 200 miles to people who were like online saying that they were for sale by owners, but they were really dealers masquerading as for sale by owners, selling out of like their business or out of their home, but they have a dealer license. I feel like it was all exacerbated by the fact that you would go into regular stores and then just be dealing with the nonsense going on in regular stores. So it's like, dealing with shady people and then going into places that you were used to shopping and having problems. It was just, it was too much retail trauma. Right. I felt like. So then Friday I found two cars. I'm like, okay, it's definitely one of these two cars. They're priced perfectly. They were low mileage. One of them was a 2007 Volkswagen Jetta. Mm -hmm. It only had like 80,000 miles on it. It was the Wolfsburg edition. It had leather and everything. And yet inside like all of the headliner and everything is falling down. And the guy is pricing it like $1,500 more than it should be. But I was like, it's like an older gentleman. He's been maintaining it. Like let's negotiate a little bit because of the headliner because you're saying it's in perfect condition. He won't respond. Then we find a nice Honda Accord from a, Accord from a lady, and we try to buy it. Go down to DMV to out transfer of state everything. Leans. It's got an out of state lien that she says is settled, according to New York State's website, is settled, but she can't prove it to Florida. So they're like, "Yeah, you can't transfer this here. You can't buy this car until she can prove." Other than with a website, with a legal document with the state seal that she's paid off those liens. So it's been a lot of dead ends. Yep. But, you know. Today's was the best one, though. Oh, yeah. So today, first I went and looked at a car. 
and it was like, yeah, this is a great car on paper, but I got in it and it was like rough idling and the air conditioner doesn't work right. And the guy's like, well, you put a thousand dollars into it. And I'm like, you're a regular car dealer. You're not like, uh, you know, side of the road used car guy. That's like, you know, just putting a band in. This was an actual guy. like Volkswagen dealership, Volkswagen slash Mazda dealership. So I expect you to at least have the car running well. He's like, well, you'd probably have to put $1,000 into it. And I'm like, yeah, no. So I go to another place. They've got this car. Perfect car for Caleb. $2,017. $4,000. I'm like, yes, I want to buy it. The guy comes back and he's got a price of $6,700 on it. I'm like, sure what enough, is all 4, this? 000. And he's like, well, you know, you have mandatory vehicle etching on the windows and what? mandatory clean up. Uh, protected for the seats but i don't want that and mandatory undercoating i'm like why do i need undercoating in florida we don't have salt roads here just a lot of upcharging upcharging which you must buy to buy the car from them so i looked at him and i'm like what you're doing is illegal he's like excuse me and i'm like there's a florida statute that says that your advertised price must include everything with the exception of the taxes the and the title the registration fees that kind of stuff but you you have to advertise price must have dealer fees in it it must have all of these extras it's actually written in the statute he was like well go ahead and file a, a complaint against me i'm not afraid of you what <laughs> who does business like this and again this was an actual mitsubishi dealership this was not a side of the road car dealer wow so i'm done i'm i'm like you know what somebody's gonna just like show up at our door like hey i heard you were looking for a car here, here you it go. is because until it? that happens i'm not looking for another one well here's what i've learned over the years don't rush stuff yeah the only thing worse than waiting is wishing that you had yep right like it, even with houses we we've talked about how we don't even want to move someplace until you just have peace about it. There's something amazing about peace. Right. Because maybe the, the house is perfect. Maybe the car is beautiful. Maybe whatever the job is, you're thinking that is going to be the perfect job. And when you feel that, that you have like these obstacles that are stopping you, don't try to push past it. Right. Don't try to, you know, make peace with it. Well, we'll just make do. Wait until you actually have peace about a big decision like this. Yeah. Because you don't know what's around it. You know, when we tried to get the house that we're in now, we loved it, but we had to have peace about it because you don't know. Maybe you're moving into a neighborhood and your kids are going to make bad friends. Right. right? I don't want to move into that neighborhood. Maybe, you know, the car looks great now. But it's only a thousand miles away from the engine blowing up, right? right? I mean, it's just, I don't want to force something. I don't want to force something and I'm tired of stressing over it because I got to tell you, the stress from this week is not doing well for me. I mean, I'm just watching like the scale go up I mean, like water, like I'm bloated everywhere. And I, it's just all stress. The stress of the health scare that we're in in the country, which... I kind of think it's just being blown up and exacerbated by the media. Uh, but that's another subject. We're not allowed to talk about that too much. Otherwise, like YouTube, like will demonetize your entire channel. Yeah. So, um, there was a, an article. I don't know if any of you guys have seen this, but there was actually an article about two brothers. It was in the New York Times who went and they have 17,000 bottles of uh, hand, hand sanitizer. sanitizer. They drove 1,200 miles and bought up everything. They bought like these masks with hand sanitizer, like these packages for pandemics that were $5. They negotiated down to $3.50 from some company. They bought 2,000 of them and sold them on eBay for 50 bucks. And so Amazon and eBay like shut them down. They banned them for life. They can no longer sell because they were charging like $25 for a, bo a $1 bottle of hand sanitizer. That's disgusting. So all of the stress from all of that and the car shopping and everything else. And then, of course, when you feel bloated, you get more stress. Right. Which leads to more stress, which leads to more bloating. And it's just like, I'm done. I'm ready to just like, I don't have any stress. I just want to crawl into bed. Put the covers over your put head. Put the covers over. Watch some TV. 
Well, and that's the thing. Maybe you're going to be home for the next two weeks. Yes. And that can be stressful as you think, depending on what, um, you know, business that you're in. Oh, my gosh. I yes. talked to a lot of people this weekend who were in the tourism industry. I'm worried about people. Like, they closed Disney World. They closed Universal Studios for, like, two to four weeks. I mean, all of those hourly employee, employees, they're, like, out their paychecks right now. I think about, like... You know, people who are, you know, waitresses or waiters and they have kids at home and their kids are home from school, but they can't really take off. I mean, th there's just a lot of things that are stressful out there. And I cannot say this enough. Let's deal with our stress. Right. Let's manage our stress. Let's not run to the refrigerator, but we also better do some exercising, take some walks you know, find some ways to decompress because you can be doing everything right as far as your meal plan and still be retaining water and, and just feeling overall not great because the stress, you know, your cortisol levels are through the roof. That's what's going on with me right now. I mean, I'm sticking to my plan, but you know, I woke up this morning after the stress of yesterday and last evening and yeah, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. How did I gain seven pounds overnight? Now, obviously that's just like stress and water and everything else, but it still doesn't make you feel good. And it certainly doesn't start your day off on the right foot. I feel like Psalms 91 starts our day off on a better foot. Yeah. Like just calm down, do whatever you need to do to just calm down. Cause I was thinking about, um, you know, this week getting our church ready. Right. In our kids areas. And that's a big concern because parents are worried, you know, and we want kids to feel safe. We also, you know, want to have rules. We we don't serve any food, no snacks. You know, we, mm -hmm. we got really, you know, hyper aware of our, you know, cleanliness. And I mean, that's not a bad thing. That's right. a good thing. Um, I was thinking about that the other day that like, hey. You know, at least people are washing their hands now when they didn't used to wash their hands. Which is a little bit scary, <laughs> right? But, you know, we would be super, super diligent about making sure baby rooms, toddler rooms, early, you know, preschool rooms were super sprayed down between every service experience. Mm -hmm. But you would think, you know what? We need to Lysol down every single chair in our elementary rooms between every service. We right. need to, you know, clean every single nook and cranny. And and I thought that was great. I loved our first impressions team was so awesome this week. Even while you know the kids were in their serve experience, they um, were spraying down door handles and stuff. And that's something that we're just gonna continue doing. Right. So I mean, sometimes being aware of germs. Mm -hmm. can can tighten your ship right? right i mean that's a great thing i love it um but you can go overboard and be so stressed that the weight of everyone's health and security and their peace of mind is on your shoulders and maybe you're feeling that for your family right. maybe you're like hey you know i'm a, a wife or a husband i want to make sure that everybody else in my family feels super safe and i want to give them their peace and their joy and entertain them while they're off of work and hey we're not going to worry about our job and i mean just take some time to decompress right. because that will back up on you and that may make you sick, right? Like, like you don't have to worry about the health scare nationwide. You can just make yourself sick worrying, right? Right. So let's talk about our food this week because with everything going on, our food was actually really good and on point all week long. So at least we could cling to that, right? <laughs> yeah. So we had some uh, barbecue that I'd done on the grill. Then on Wednesday, we went to Whole Foods and they were having some phenomenal deals, which is still going on right now if you're watching this on Monday or Tuesday. So they have grass-fed, grass-finished beef, which is normally like $6.99 a pound. And if you're an Amazon Prime member, it's down to $4.99 a pound. And it's raised in the United States, so it's not like greenwashed beef or anything like that. Right. Then they have uh, eggs that are pasture raised that are $3.99 a dozen. And that is the regular, that's the on sale price. But if you're a Prime member, it's $3.59. What cracked me up was it didn't matter what size you wanted. So you want extra large, that was $3.99. You want right. large or you want like medium. Um, extra large, yeah, please. Yeah, they're all the same price. So we did really well. We, we ate a lot of our bacon this week. We ate eggs. We've eaten some taco meat that we made. 
We ate the cowboy burgers because we absolutely love those. It's also fun to look at all of the Irish foods mm -hmm. that are coming in, you know, for the season. So they had some great deals on corned beef. Yep. They have some amazing cheeses, especially like the Kerrygold, Kerrygold. cheese. Yeah, if you like Kerrygold cheese, it, it was like $2.89 for a, soft a block. One. And it was on sale. Like you get another 10% off. So really, oh, and Waterloo, your favorite. Waterloo. Water, Actually, Waterloo is, uh, I think it's $4 a piece if you're a Prime member, which is a really good deal for Waterloo. Unfortunately, he bought some grape, but we did also buy strawberry and watermelon. And watermelon and lemon lime. And yeah, I wanted coconut, but they didn't have any. Who had Zevia deals? Uh, oh, Sprouts, Sprouts has Zevia on sale. Buy one, get one free. And somebody in our Facebook group actually just put up, of course, you've got to be willing to go brave the stores right now. <laughs> But evidently, Aldi has like their own Zevia line. They have like three or four different flavors, and I'm it's really much cheaper than Zevia. Excited to try that. And from what I've seen, the cream tastes better than cream Zevia. Nuh uh. So I'm excited to go try that, especially if it's a lot cheaper than Zevia. We have to go look for those. You also made your own chicken wings this week. And we made our own chicken wings. And then one day we did go to on the day that we did all of the car shopping we couldn't adult anymore it was like seven o'clock at night and i'm like i'm just getting chicken wings i'm done i don't want to go home and cook but speaking of chicken wings and buffalo wild wings yes and then we have we have to do a couple of things but friday night we're laying in bed and i just happened to pick up my phone thank you lord and i check my email and there's a thing saying thank you for redeeming some of your blazing rewards which if you've never been to buffalo wild wings that's their reward program every i think it's every 10 every 100 every 10 dollars you spend you get points you get like 10 points and then you can redeem those points for you know wings wings and stuff so i get a thing saying thanks for redeeming 300 of your points for a soda and we're like, wait, what? I'm like, first of all, I'm not a Buffalo Wild Wings. Second of all, I don't drink soda when I go to Buffalo Wild Wings, so I wouldn't have redeemed it for it. Then I get another one for that. Then I get one for buying chicken tenders. We're like, we're certainly not and buying I'm that. And I'm like, somebody has hacked my, my Buffalo Wild Wings Blazing Rewards account. So I immediately call Buffalo Wild Wings. They're like, oh, well, our Blazing Rewards people are closed. So I'm scrambling on the app. What can I do? Because they're redeeming all of it's my points. It's literally like, Yay. It's going down. Like, I had 9,000 points. And it's just going down and down and down and down. And they're redeeming them and redeeming them. But they were redeeming them for the vouchers, but they hadn't yet redeemed the voucher. So it was just in there that you have these vouchers and now you have 30 days to use it. So I immediately changed my password. And after I change my password, they're still doing it because they're obviously logged in. And right. when I change the password, it doesn't log them out. But then I went and I like started saying, cancel this voucher. And when I hit cancel the voucher, you don't get the points back for 24 hours. So that stopped them from being able to like redo it again. Right. The good thing is I got all my points back. Yes. The really cool part, I mean, it was it stunk when this happened. But it was scary at first. But this we're was, like, yeah, we have enough for like two, like 30 piece wings. Yeah. And this was in San Diego. Yeah. It turned out they happening. were in San Diego. We didn't find that out till Saturday when I go in to see if I get all my points back. And I do. Plus, I guess because they tried to present my app or whatever they logged into at this Buffalo Wild Wings. They ended up having to pay for their meal. I got the points for all of the stuff that they tried to steal from me. Because now they had to pay for it. The bill was like $100. Feels like that was fair. So I ended up getting a 1,000 points even though I didn't there. But they gave my phone number or they gave my app thing to them. With the enemy meant for evil, God turned around for good. Yeah. So thank you for that. So now I'm like, we need to go use those points like this week before somebody tries to steal them. Because right we, have, we have over 10,000 points. Like that's enough for a lot of wings. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get some wings. Before we do our comments, we have to do our giveaway. Yes. So if you watched last week's Kid on the Couch, which was live, which was episode 52 we're Thank now into guys. the second year for keto on the couch it's happening um perfect keto sponsored last week's keto on the couch um if you need any perfect keto products there is a link down below they are definitely uh, awesome sponsors of the channel also they are doing a 
St. Patrick's Day sale. So I'm going to leave a link for that down below. And the St. Patrick's Day sale is 20% off. Whatever. So, what? Yeah, all their stuff. And usually their sales don't include the bundles. Okay. But there is a link for it down below. So if you do need anything, you can go ahead and use that link. It does help support the channel. Uh, but we decided that since they were sponsoring, we were going to give something away. So you yeah. have your choice. Whoever wins today uh, gets their choice of either MCT. an MCT powder, any flavor, or collagen. the collagen. And you can get chocolate, vanilla, or salted caramel. Which one do you suggest? If you're getting the um, collagen, my favorite is chocolate. And if you're getting MCT powder, I like salted caramel. Me too. Okay, so let's uh, do pick a winner. I already have the URL. Pick a winner. Let me start the screen recorder. There are 160 wow. comments. You awesome. ready? Awesome, yes. Pick a winner. Sally The Alonzo. winner is Sally Alonzo. Congratulations, Sally. Sally wrote, I would love to try Perfect Keto Collagen. Ooh, it's coming your way, babe. Sally, here's what you need to do. You need to send us an email at twocrazyketos at gmail.com. And as soon as you do, we will get that shipped right out to you. Yeah, just let us know if you want vanilla, salted caramel, or chocolate. Also, obviously, we need your mailing address. So are you ready to do comments and subscriber of the week? Yes, please. Okay, so if you're new to our channel, we do have a Facebook family group. And uh, in there, there's like over 2,000 people. The awesomest people. Awesome people who are there to give you encouragement, share recipes. Deals. Uh, deals that they may find. Just be there to be an encourager for you. So we ask you, go ahead and join there and leave your stories. And what we like to do is pull some different stories updates, progress things, non-scale victories, and share it because things that you're going through will definitely impact somebody else. You know, there's somebody else out there that's going through the same exact thing. And when you share your story, they may see that and be like, hey, I got this. And if you do not have Facebook, reach out to us at uh, stories mm -hmm. at twocrazyketos.com. And that way we can share Still your story that way. Share your story that way. Yeah. So uh, this week we actually have two, we actually have three um, they are kind of updates slash subscriber of the week. Awesome. And all three of these people are actually longtime supporters of the channel. People who have been with us since the beginning. And the first one is actually Heather and Phil. Our buddies. And uh, Heather and Phil are awesome. They have their, Heather's actually a moderator for our Facebook family group. Such an incredible family. And we actually recently interviewed them when we were at Omaha because yeah. their story is amazing. I will leave a link for that over Rachel's head if you haven't seen it. But they are just awesome people. And Heather actually put a thing up and said, I was in a negative mood today, wishing this and that, thinking I still have a ways to go until my magic number I have in my head. So I decided to take a step back and see how far I've come so far. Feeling a lot better about myself. Always remember to love yourself now and don't wait until you've reached an image in your mind. And she put up some pictures of her and Phil from before what? and where they're at Great now. Great advice. They're such a gorgeous couple. They do not look old enough to have adult children. No, That's they definitely for sure. don't. That's for sure. And um, Phil was a veteran. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for your service, sir. Um, just an incredible family. And I love the message that she's sending because that's the problem. A lot of times we have a number mm -hmm. that's in our mind and we'll be happy with ourselves when we see that number on the devil scale. Right. And we don't always have control over that number, right? There's so much that can be going on as far as, you know, losing fat and losing inches, you know, in different parts of our body we may never see that number. It's right. not a magic number. So the next one is another one of our moderators, another awesome person who's been around for a long time on our channel, and it's Miss Katie. Katie! And Katie wrote, Hey fam, been a crazy week. I just want to share this. Uh, at a chance that others are in the same boat, below are two picks. Left is me nearing my heaviest ever weight, December 2017, and on the right is me five to 10 pounds ago in September of 2019. I'm currently 10 to 15 pounds away from my goal. The problem is the picture I have of me in my head is the gal on the left, mm. and I'm still working towards a goal and a healthy image of where I am. Interestingly enough, I struggle with a similar image spiritually. I keep hearing those whispers in my ear reminding me of who I was and not who I am. So all that said, Finally, I am blessed to have you on this journey, and I pray that all of our eyes are able to see the progress we have made and have a peace with the health that we are achieving. Hugs to you all. 
And that's exactly what we were just talking about. So good. And I say that all the time. I still look in the mirror and see the 290 pound Joe. I get up in the morning, I look in that mirror and I'm like, I am so fat. I am so ugly. Look at all these roles. And it's not until like I filmed a video um, with Anthony. We did two videos this week. We did that uh, one for the Birchbender's Cookie Cups, which mm-hmm. you, if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link over Rachel's head. And we also did a keto box where we tried everything. And I'm looking at myself sitting next to him. And I look at him every day and be like, wow, this kid is a twig. <laughs> And I'm looking at myself sitting next to him and I'm like, I'm close to the same size as him. But when I'm in him, with him in person, I feel like I'm that same 290 pound guy. So thank you for posting this, Katie. Can I see your picture? Oh yeah. Awesome. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. And she got an awesome car this week. Oh my Congratulations. gosh, she got a great Jeep. Beautiful. So the last one is Miss Sherry. Hey, Sherry. And Sherry wrote, I am celebrating one year of being on keto. I'm going to put her pictures up here. She said, I lost 35 pounds, which doesn't seem like a lot. Seems like a lot. But it was hard coming off. In March of 2016, I had a hemorrhagic stroke after being uh, pepper sprayed at work. Unfortunately, it took a week for them to discover that I had a stroke. Oh my goodness. So I was being eaten up by inflammation. After three visits to the emergency room and ER, doctor decided to do a CAT scan and discovered the brain bleed. They put me on massive amounts of prednisone and I started packing on the pounds. I had a little bit of a long recovery and slowly things started working again, but I could not lose the weight I gained. I toyed with going back to Weight Watchers because I lost 70 pounds with them, but I was intrigued with keto. I did some research, which led me to YouTube. I started watching Dr. Barry. I gained a lot of information from him. And then a video suggestion popped up on a couple called Two Crazy Keto. Oh, I'm so glad. I was hooked. I cannot express enough how grateful I am for Joe and Rachel's inspiration and motivation to keep going. I lost very slowly and would go weeks without losing one pound. I decided that even if I lost nothing, I would still be a healthier eater. And I made it about being healthy instead of losing weight. Yeah. Then I heard Rachel say, you are probably losing inches before you lose the weight, which was so encouraging to me. And there were so many suggestions on ingredients to look out for that could be hindering your progress. After about a month of being on keto, I started to see weight loss. I went a few more weeks and then more weight loss. And that's just how my journey went. I absolutely love keto and I've never gone off of it. Although sometimes I do overeat keto foods. I cannot imagine eating any other way now, and I've turned 56 in January, and I'm so thankful to God for my health and for Joe and Rachel, who have impacted me with their encouragement, advice, and generous hearts. And uh, here's her before picture, and here's her now picture. Oh my gosh. Plus, she's got an awesome shirt. That shirt is like totally distracting because it's so awesome. Not today, Satan. That is awesome. Sherry, you are absolutely gorgeous. You look incredible. Congratulations. Gorgeous. And thank you for reminding us that, yeah, a lot of times it's inches, not, not pounds. That's right. And if it comes off at a breakneck speed or it comes off slowly, it's coming off. That's right. And while it's coming off, She's absolutely right. You're eating much healthier foods, mm-hmm. right? It's not a bad thing that we're gotten gotten rid of the processed foods and all of the sugar, no matter what, right? That's a great thing. And you're going to feel great with less inflammation and less headaches and all of those things just because you've switched your diet. Right. So it'll come off. Just be patient. That's right. So let's do some comments. So every week we like to pull comments from last week's Keto on the Couch. And a lot of them were like, congratulations on, you know, a year. Congratulations on 9,000 subscribers. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. So Shannon wrote. Hey, Shannon. Happy anniversary. You two make me giggle. And let's face it, grownups don't do that enough. Thanks. You know what? I agree. We need to laugh out loud every day, in my opinion. April wrote. Hey, April. Congratulations on 9,000 subscribers. Girls are more expensive on car insurance. I had two teenage girls at home. We were broke from insurance. I love y'all so much, and I love your channel. It helps me to be accountable listening to you both. Thank you. And you keep us accountable. You guys definitely keep us accountable. And yeah, you know, I know. It's just car insurance for kids are expensive. They say that in certain areas of the country, I know it's the case down here, that girls can be more expensive because they're texting, they're distracted, they're putting on their makeup. 
But hey, I keep telling the boys, and, and it's hard to control them because they're adults, but I'm like, I really would prefer you drive with no radio. Like, I was looking at a car for Caleb today, the one where they were doing the, trying to do that, you have to buy all this extra stuff. And I got in the car, I'm like, this car is actually not well known for having a lot of power. It was a Mitsubishi Mirage. I'm like, but then again, you know what? Teenage boy in a car where you have to slam your foot on the gas all yep. the way to the floor to hit 60, that's probably a good thing. It's not a bad thing. So, yeah, they're pretty bad, and their insurance is through the roof. I mean, Anthony's insurance is costing him $300 a month on his own policy because it was cheaper to do that than have him on our policy. Which we couldn't believe. Yeah, but he was raising the rates on your car. That's what it was, and my truck. Yeah. So, yeah, it's super expensive for these kids. Hopefully they never get into a car accident or ticket because then they really won't be able to afford well, it. Well, that's the incentive. Yeah. Keto on a budget, wrote. Hey, Keto on a budget. I've had that experience with Progressive. We've been with Geico for over a year now. No increase uh, in price when we renewed. I am shocked at how great Geico is. Yeah, we've been with Geico for years and they really have been awesome. But if you didn't see last week's Kid on the Couch, we were talking about the fact that we looked into Progressive. They offered us like incredible rates. Yeah. Like, I want to say like even without the kids, they were going to lower our policy by like $75 or $80 a month. And Anthony's with full coverage, collision, and everything was going to be like $169 a month. And I was like, I was tempted to move. But Geico's been so good. Geico's been good. And then I started doing research. And a lot of people say that when you first switch to Progressive, they kind of give you like it's a... They're masking it as an online discount, but it's really a first-time progressive customer. And you get it for six months, but then it's a one-time discount. And when you renew, that goes away. And now all of a sudden you go up higher. And then if you wanted to switch back to Geico, you've lost everything that we've established, like our good dis good driver discount our accident forgiveness all of that stuff i so. know that it is counterproductive they think to be up front and just tell the truth but please be up front and just tell the truth it makes it so much easier the one thing that i have learned is what you want to do is when you're looking for car insurance especially if you have teenage drivers and i learned this with john paul is and that's how we ended up with geico actually um is to go through and look at what is their rate before any discounts. And you want to compare that. Compare like Geico to Progressive, to State Farm, to, to Farmers, all of them. Look at what the insurance rate is before discounts. And then compare discount to discount to discount. And see if, you know, are you getting a discount somewhere? Because that's how they get you. Like we actually get a great discount. If you're a BJ's member, you get a discount you know, on Geico, which a lot of them don't give you, but. What if you're a Dick's Sporting Goods <laughs> member? Are, are you gonna start that again? No. Nah. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Caitlin wrote. Hey, Caitlin. LOL, I was rocking an egg when Rachel asked if Joe was. Oh my goodness, we're, raw? Yeah. She was, she I was think raw we should yet? try that. I think we should no. get you a raw egg and you should drink a raw egg. That's so cool that you think that we should, but we're not. <laughs> Charlotte wrote. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, guys. The way I keep my car clean is I clean it out every time that I get out. No garbage or junk is allowed to be left in it. I have so much preparation stuff going on in my purse. Like, I can barely hold my purse anymore. Oh, my gosh. So, I got in the car. I mean, and this, I mean, we all do this, right? We get a new car. You get a new anything. And you're like, try to maintain you want to take care. Stuff. It lasts for a couple of weeks. And you're like, yeah, too much trouble. Rachel's walking around in her purse with like, armor all and i'm like what are you doing like at least like if you want to have that in your car great but put it in the glove box why are you carrying this in your purse i just want to try to maintain the niceness for as long as possible <laughs> i think it's funny you know what i'm looking forward to most about our kids driving what getting in their car and leaving a mess no don't do that that's very mean all of these years where you get this car come on who else has gone through this like you get in the car and you tell the kids no eating take your garbage and they're like not my car i'm gonna leave a mess and you get in the back seat and there's crumbs everywhere i just want to get in their car and kind of show them what they've done to us for all these years i just want to get in their car and pray through it well that that's they never thing. get i definitely want to do that in an accident that they never get a ticket that they're like just in a bubble i mean come on how many of you guys 
who like when you have kids and all you keep saying like I can't wait for you guys to have kids so that you can see what kids do to you. I don't feel that way because right now a lot of times I will live an experience and I will be reminded my mom had to go through this. Yeah. I immediately pick up the phone and, and call apologize. Her and apologize. Right. Whatever's going on, I'll say, I know you never wish this on me. But I know I did this to you, or right. I know you had to deal with this, so I am sorry. But so when they're doing these things as kids in there, and they think it's not, oh, it's not a big deal. You kind of there's not a little part of you that's no. like, I can't wait for you to go through this. Like, have your kid talk back to you? No. And not that our kids do; they're really good. But no, I, I don't. I, I don't want them to have to like get what they've given. And I want to be the grandparent so I can just spoil the kids. That I Give want. them whenever they want and then send them home to mom. Of course, they're not going to get spoiled with us with candy. No. The way our parents Oh, no, did. but no, I... But you'll go broke for toys. Oh, for absolutely. Uh, Sherry wrote... Hey, Sherry. Keeping your car clean. Don't carry kombucha. Oh, my gosh. She said, sorry, couldn't help myself. Congratulations <laughs> on your new car. Love Perfect Keto Collagen. Salted caramel is my favorite. Thanks for the video. Sorry I couldn't see it live. Oh, my gosh. She is so awesome. So, when we were in Omaha, the last time we rented a car... We left a bottle of a glass bottle of kombucha in the back seat and it exploded. What do you want? We're Floridians and we were in Omaha in the middle you of the winter. You should put a link to that. I will put a link. If you didn't see that video, the fiasco of us trying to clean kombucha out of a rental car. I'll leave that over Rachel's That head. is so awesome. Um, but I was actually talking to somebody who had recently purchased a car and they were they said, we got an amazing deal. We got it from like a Hertz rent-a-car once they're done renting out their cars and then they sell them. And I was like, did you smell the backseat? <laughs> what the backseat smell like? He was like, what? I'm like, nothing. Nothing. Mindy wrote. Hey, Mindy. I'm from Michigan and I live about an hour from the Dr. Pool Clinic. <gasps> I love watching his show. I really enjoy your keto on the couch video. Oh my gosh. Like I want to have a pet and just have him give him a checkup there just I, to go to his I want to move to Michigan for my farm just so that that could be the vet. I'm like totally starstruck. Laura wrote. Hey, Laura. Congrats on your one year anniversary. You two have kept me informed, inspired, and made me laugh throughout this last year. I look forward to each video. Thank you for sharing your family with us and the best yogurt recipe ever. Thank you, guys. Man, thank you so much. D Daz wrote. Hey, D Daz. Happy anniversary. I'm so grateful to have found your channel. Not only do you offer helpful information, but you both are so positive and encouraging. Keep doing you and being oh you. Oh my goodness. You guys are awesome. Well, we would not be here without you guys. That's true. Every every subscriber that is made aware of us, that gets suggested, it's because you've watched, you subscribed, you've liked, right. and it's letting, you know, what the YouTube universe algorithms l know that we're on the map. And the best way to help us grow is by making sure you subscribe to the channel, by hitting the little like button, by commenting on the videos, even if it's just to say hi, and most importantly, hitting that little bell icon because that goes a long way with YouTube when they see that you are like wanting to be notified when we upload a new video, which is at least five a week, um, that, that goes a long way and they start suggesting us to other people. So we really do appreciate you guys doing that. We also appreciate when you do use all the different affiliate links and everything down below because that does help support the channel and keep us going. Yeah. So John wrote, Hey John. Will you come and do my car negotiations? Not a chance. <laughs> Maybe if today or this week had gone super smoothly, you'd be like, sure. <laughs> but now you're like, no, I'm afraid again. He said, you need to make your backdrop your heavy pictures for non-believers. Yeah, because a lot of oh, people wow. don't believe that we were heavy. And we weren't just heavy. We were fat. We would probably, both of us, maybe fit in mine now, <laughs> at least. Joe's friend wrote, Hey, Joe's friend. You guys are the best. You're always uplifting and inspiring. Thank you for all you do for us. Rachel, I have a collapsible trunk organizer that I use to keep things organized. I like my reusable shopping bags. I also have a smaller soft-sided bag that I can reach right behind my seat that holds tissues, lotion, lens cleaner, and other items I occasionally need while I'm Ooh. on the road. Enjoy your new car. Do not fill the car with all of this stuff. That need, sounds... If it doesn't fit in the glove compartment, you don't need it. That sounds amazing. 
I'm very excited about the thing on the back, like she's saying. I like the little organization packs. I get really excited. I geek out over these organizational things. I did buy the collapsible. I like that. Containers, six ninety nine at Costco. I like those because you know if I'm not around, I like the fact that you can just load everything in there and carry it into the house in one trip instead yeah. of back and forth and back and it forth. It really helped with kids ministry but this week. I absolutely am not a person that wants to store a whole bunch of stuff. And I mean, I have it all in my truck, but most of it's like work stuff. Like we have like weed eater string and sprinkler heads and all that. First of all, all of that extra weight that goes against your gas mileage when you keep adding more and more stuff. And the bottom, it just rattles around and then it goes bad. Like I used to store deodorant in my car. It all melts down here, right? Have you tried having deodorant in your car? I have deodorant in my purse, which P.S. Joe asked to borrow this week. But that's in your purse. It's not in your car. You can't store so, it in your car. aren't you glad that I carry stuff I don't need all the time? <laughs> Delissa wrote. Hey, Delissa. I hope I win the perfect keto. I've been wanting to try the salted caramel. Rachel, look into car wash clubs for keeping your car clean. My local Riptide has an early bird special where you get the premium, all the bells and whistles for $5, $5? before 9 a.m., which includes free vacuum and mat cleaners. Dude, do we have a Riptide? I don't think we have one of those Riptides. We, we have a place near us which... We don't go to the car wash very often, like once in a blue moon when it gets $5? bad. But our place is like $21 for the manager special where you get like the wax and all that. Yeah. But that's not for cleaning the inside. That's another $8. So they do give you free vacuum where you can go and vacuum. And I like to just do that myself anyway because when we gave Anthony Rachel's car, I decided I'm going to pay for them to do it because it was really, really bad. Well, and you want it to feel new. And I want him to have a newer looking car. I mean, it wasn't new, but it was new to him. So yeah. I wanted it to be nice and clean. And I got in the car and they vacuumed the top of the car mats, but they didn't even pull them out. I was like, I could have done it better myself. And like, I had to wait for them to do it. My children have done that sort of job, right? Like where they vacuum around the issue. We do have a kid who, I think he's like a senior in high school or something like that, who every once in a while like walks up to our yes. door. Yes. And he comes over and he, I told him, whenever you're in the area, just knock on the door and he charges me $10 and he hand washes the car. Incredible. And he does a great job. I wish I had his phone number so that I can call him. I'm like, you can come every week and wash the car, especially the truck. Oh, yeah. But he does a, such a good job on it. He just does the outside. He only does the outside. Lisa wrote. Hey, Lisa. I'm so sorry I missed the live, but this time change is rough. And you guys are on the other side of the U.S. So I'd love to win the Keto Collagen. I'm having trouble with losing my hair since I've been doing keto. What am I lacking? I'm getting thin on top. Yikes. What is going on? Congratulations on a new car, Rachel. Woohoo. Uh, oh my gosh, Rachel, your face is so priceless. So funny as Joe is talking about chicken feet. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. They she kind of addressed everything. None of it came in the mail today. Nothing came in the week. mail yet. So uh, let's talk about the keto collagen. Um, collagen will definitely help with your hair. It does take, I'd say, one um, a month to six weeks to start seeing a difference. Yeah. But also, no matter what diet, when you have a diet lifestyle change, you're probably going to go through some hair loss. So whether you do keto, if you were to switch over to paleo, if you were to switch over to plant-based whole food, you're going to go through that because your body's going to go through adjustments. But the collagen is definitely, definitely helping Rachel. She doesn't have those big bald spots. No, it's, it's That's why she's it's letting growing. it grow. I she wanna, wants to see what happens. I'm actually hopeful for my hair. I mean, you guys can look back over go to our very first video mm -hmm. even that we had two years ago look at the like do the search upside down where it's like late you know earliest it's cringy it's like orange but um but yeah it was i always had the short hair because i just couldn't grow healthy longer hair so i actually have hope for my hair now so i'm just trying to grow it out yeah it looks great also, if you don't want collagen, like just using collagen powders, you can use good bone broth. The fattier, the better. Like the wiggly, jiggly kind of stuff, like using chicken feet. Yes. You want to get like that gelatinous feet. stuff in there. If you can like handle having that, that's all the collagen. Also, 
uh, get your meats, eat the fat of your meats, and chew on the gristle. Like if you're getting a ribeye, chew on that gristle. On a New York strip, that's all the collagen. You can save all of your chicken bones. Like right now, we're, every time we get wings, whether we're buying them or making them, after we're done, we're just taking a big freezer bag and throwing all the bones. And then we have a nice big bag. We're going to make our own bone broth with it. Except for one of them usually goes to Grayson. Yeah. Grayson loves chicken bones. Freak. Keto Cindy keeping it real over 50, bro. Hey, Cindy. Happy one year. I've never tried salted caramel collagen. That would be a great one to try. Thank you for stepping out in faith last year. And even though it felt crazy, you did it anyway. You definitely have helped change my keto life. God bless you both. Thank you so much for watching us. Shelly wrote. Hey, Shelly. I have a non-scale victory. I noticed my hair is thicker than it used to be. Collagen and all the meats for the win. Also, there's no BJs in Texas, so dicks are all alone. Ha ha. Oh. I love the way Rachel thinks. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my gosh, that is so hilarious. <laughs> so if you didn't see last week's Keto on the Couch, Rachel made a point to point out the fact it's that true. there is always a BJ's across the street from a dicks. It's true. Sporting goods, that is. Jacqueline wrote. Hey, Jacqueline. Rachel, how many scoops of the collagen are you using each day? Each day I use one scoop in the recommended amount of water. I think it's eight ounces of water. I like my water cold, yo. So I usually put it into the Vitamix or blender or whatever. You can just shake it up because it's like dust. It's, it's you know, right. it's in my mind that somehow I'm getting it more mixed. But um, I use cold water. I mix uh, one scoop with it, and then I pour it over ice because I like it cold, cold, cold. Right. And it is such a delicious chocolatey treat. I really don't even need a dessert afterwards. Now, some people add it to their coffee. I find it to have kind of a weird salty taste in coffee. But alone in water, I really like it. Yeah. You can also use almond milk or milkadamia or any of those kind of milks if you don't want to use water. And again, Perfect Keto is having that sale for St. Patrick's Day. So the link's down below. You get 20% off if you don't have any. It also just reminded me when it I've got It helps my a, skin too, I think. I just thought about St. Patrick's Day. How many people are looking forward to this? Corned beef and cabbage. The next day. I've got an entire corned beef for me. You can have a little tiny piece of it. Okay, thank you. Because I love my corned beef. And cabbage is great on keto. I'm, I'm just kidding. The corned beef and cabbage is for us only, though. I'm not sharing that with the kids. Well, I'm telling you, you're going to be able to share it freely because usually the day after and the week after. Yes. You're going to get really good sales at Aldi. So, like, we check We run to Aldi's and get the sales. Aldi yeah. because they discounted. Last year, they had them like $6 off a package, no matter how much they were. They were $6 off. So we load up on those. So all right, how many of you guys are love corned beef and cabbage? I may even put a few radishes in there to get that kind of potato feel. Oh, yeah. There. And it's delicious. But I And I love the cabbage when it's cooked with the corned beef. Of course, we usually have to write a I'm sorry note to like everybody we come in contact with during the week of St. Patrick's. <laughs> Slimming with Stephanie wrote, Hey Stephanie. Chicken feet make the best bone broth. I've used them for years, even before keto, but I'd never eat them. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. St I, I love the end of that comment. Thank you. Yes, don't eat them. Just use them in the thing and then toss the feet. So Joe wrote, Hey Joe. I'm glad I'll be meeting y'all finally on the 2021 low carb cruise. Awesome. If not before. Since I'm going out solo, is there anyone looking for a roommate? Let me know. You want a room with Joe, and then that doubles up my room. Uh, no, I'm not. Your closet your space. No, there is no closet space on a crew. You are limited to a backpack. That's what you're allowed to bring. A backpack. Okay, so I don't know about this one. It's J O C M two 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 five. All right, I'm interested to know what that stands for. I'd love to let us know down in the comment section what that stands for. Twenty two twenty five. Maybe they're from the future. <laughs> <laughs> said i've got some great advice from an rn three foot rule and wash your hands also masks should be used by health professionals because most people don't know how to put masks on correctly oh wow that's so, interesting interesting little thing so anthony and i we have some termites in the attic and we've got to put a hold on actually tenting because number one i can't get anybody to actually call us back number two we have to find a time where we're going to be out of the house for a week to be yeah. able to do it so i know exactly where they are 
It's one little concentrated area. So I went and I got the stuff to treat them. Now it does say on the label that you do not need to wear a respirator to apply this chemical. But I'm like, hey, I would rather be safe than sorry. It is a chemical, it's boric acid. I want a respirator. Can't find one anywhere. None to be found. Anthony and I went to Home Depot thinking maybe people aren't as smart as some other people give them credit for. Hey. And I'll look in the paint department. Nope, they thought about that. They're smart. Went to the auto parts store. Didn't have them there. But what we did find that a lot of people, I don't even know if I should say this, but if you're looking for them, if you want gloves, look in the auto parts store. Yeah, that was me. I found them there because we were looking for ones for church. And all of the latex gloves are gone. And we use latex gloves for, well, they don't have the... Nitro ones. Yeah, the nitro ones for changing diapers. Right. Um. So we need a lot of them in between, you know, services. So, yeah, in the automotive section. So if you're working on your car, you would need to have gloves so that you don't get oil and stuff on your hands. And so they were there, so... But Check it was kind of parts. funny, though. And, like, Anthony and I are going in stores, like, we have a mask. And everyone's just laughing. They're like, you really care about this? I'm like, actually, this has nothing no. to do with the pandemic going around. This has to do with, I have to spray chemicals in my attic. And I don't want to breathe the chemicals in. This is a legitimate reason yeah, for a mask. Yeah, really a reason I wanted to have a mask. Sherry wrote. Hey, Sherry. On the couch topic. I know that you guys have a stash of keto stuff, but in the frantic COVID-19 freakout, what would you make sure that you have in your keto closet if you were going to be quarantined for two weeks? Um, number one, don't freak out. That's yeah. the first thing we're going to say. I would say go and check out our hurricane preparedness video. Yeah, because, It's going to be the same kind of thing. Yeah, same thing. Um, there, there's a link for that over Rachel's head, but... Basic stuff. Have some canned chicken, some canned pork, maybe some tuna, tuna fish, fish, maybe a couple containers of like milkadamia. Um, we've kind of gotten away from the bottled water. We're not storing bottled water. I think a great investment for anybody. I'd say like one of the first things if you really want to have good quality water and be able to not have to buy bottled water is save up and invest in a Berkey because then you could put any water in there. You don't even have to worry about like, do I have enough bottled water? It holds like three and a half gallons. You can pour pool water in there if you have to, or you can fill up your bathtub like we did as a kid. And then when you need to drink it, run it through the Berkey. So that is good if you're in a hurricane season. That's good if you're in a snow season where maybe you're afraid that you will lose power because right. of that. Yeah, I really like the Berkey. Also, um, Keto Chow is completely shelf stable. It lasts for like two years on the shelf. So you can get Keto Chow and then maybe some avocado oil to mix it. Or don't forget, I know Rachel doesn't like it when I say this, butter does not have to be refrigerated. You can leave it out for up to two weeks so long as you have salted butter, not unsalted butter. But salted butter can be left on your counter if you absolutely have to. So you can throw some ice in a cooler with it or freeze it. And then if for some reason you were to lose you know, refrigeration, it's going to be good for two weeks. And you can use that for keto chow. But that this is a health scare we're talking about, so you probably won't lose electricity. <laughs> I'm just people ask, and yeah. that goes along with hurricane preparedness or storm sure. preparedness or something like that. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's like keto chow, some canned things. Like, you know, Nisha actually just put a link on her channel for like portable, like basically a portable bidet. It's like almost like uh, I hate to say this word, but like a uh, feminine cleaner. Oh, but. It'd be great if you absolutely had no toilet paper. It literally is just like a bulbous thing that like suck up water and then could clean you. Are we going to be there? Are we, are we headed in that I'm, direction? Again, don't get the toilet paper thing. But can we, can we stop at a train stop earlier <laughs> than that town? All I know is, you know what the, the, the best thing about this whole thing is? As soon as possible, I'm going to get electric from the ceiling of the light that's over the ceiling. I'm going to run that electric down the wall to behind the toilet, and I am getting a Toto bidet toilet. I want that thing. Oh, my goodness. Then I never have to buy toilet paper again, just like when you go to Japan and stuff. This is an interesting plan. <laughs> Diana wrote. Hey, Diana. Joe, if you have a crisis, what's the one thing besides water that you don't want to run out of? 
Toilet paper. Yeah, buddy. If you live out in the country, you'll often lose power. You learn to have drinking water and separate water for washing dishes or bathing with on hand at all times. Plus stocked up pantry food. Here in Oklahoma, last year, because of the floods, we were trapped and could not get out of our town in any direction oh for two weeks. You have to be prepared. Yeah. Good thing I've been married to an Eagle Scout for 37 years. He's Mr. Prepared. Thank God for him. That is awesome. It is awesome. I'm an Eagle Scout. I just never thought about toilet paper because I feel like there's plenty of things that I can do if I don't have toilet paper. Well, what was strange to me is if you're worried about like being sick or preventing the sickness, I connect flu-like symptoms with like, well, we better clean. Right. I could understand if the, it was a run on paper towels. Right. But like... Disinfectants. You, yeah, because you're going to clean with it. But I was like, are you going to poop a lot if you get the flu like a lot of pooping yeah now the one thing about this whole thing i'm not so scared about the pandemic but the cleaning solution smells are starting to give me massive headaches yeah oh my goodness so i was kind of worried that people would think i was sick at church because my eyes were watering a little bit and i was having like a scratchy throat but it had nothing to do with sickness it had been that I had Lysol the fool out of every surface in kids ministry to the point where I had like scratched my throat up. Yeah. It's just it, the smells are overwhelming. I overcleaned. Is that a thing? I over <laughs> overcleaned. Cleaned. Okay. So last one. Steph wrote. Hey Steph. Sorry. I had to post again when you got to 58 minutes. Something about educating yourself. I've been amazed by the amount of people that I've had to face-to-face -face contact with that say they cannot do keto because of the fact I tell them how much research I've done and they say, oh, that is just too much. And uh, so I'm not going to be able to do all of that. I stand there thinking, are you kidding me? You probably spend hours online looking at unimportant things or playing games, but you can't spend a couple of hours researching on something that could heal you, help you lose weight and make you feel better. Why do so many not want to invest in the most important thing, which is themselves? You know what's interesting? People will spend hours on WebMD. Yes. They are on WebMD looking at getting, you know, more acquainted with symptoms, problems. How am I going to manage this pain? How am I going to manage this sickness? What do I think I have? What do I think I'm heading towards? Like you don't mind getting the bad news and just absorbing all of that information. Why wouldn't you want to invest some time in recovery and hopefully getting better? Right. Right? Maybe even if it doesn't alleviate everything you're going through, if it lightens the health load a little, wouldn't that be enough? Wouldn't right. that be great if maybe you just didn't have headaches all the time or maybe your skin cleared up or maybe you stopped having inflammation, maybe you lost some weight. Like all of those things are good things. I want to invest my time and energy in that. I think she's absolutely right. Yeah, we. I think we, we research too much when it's like, what do I do when I am sick? But we don't spend enough time researching how do I prevent being sick? I mean, I think one of the best memes on this whole nonsense that's going on right now, somebody actually put in, in our Facebook group. And if I can find it, I'll put it up here. But it kind of summed up with everybody's worrying about this and nobody is worried about like diabetes. I mean, the solution to diabetes is let's come up with another flavor Oreo, right? So we're not worried about that and diabetes and all the kids that are getting diabetes and all the adults, but we are worried about like we may get a flu-like symptom or something like that. And I'm not trying to like minimize no. everything, but we're so focused on one thing when there's so many other things that we don't ever pay attention to. It's time to stop trying to deal with the fruit and let's deal with the root. That's right. Right? Like not... Like, well, I guess we're going to have to have some measure of serving of this fruit of this problem. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to manage it. I'm going to have to deal with it. I'm going to have to live with it. I get, I better learn to like the taste of it. Not necessarily. That's true. Let's kill it at the root. Let's deal with what we're eating, what we're putting in our body, and we won't have to send other things down there to try to deal with that problem. Right. 
Well, that is this week's Keto on the Couch. Make sure you leave some questions and comments down below uh, for next week's Keto on the Couch. Yeah. Also, make sure you join us this week on Thursday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our weekly live stream. I can't wait. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next week. Bye. bye.